It's postseason time for girls volleyball. 12th seeded Wabonzi Valley travels to Oswego East for a regional semifinal matchup against 5th seeded Lincoln Way West. We start the action with the first set tied at 4 as Naisha Kana's serve causes trouble for the West defense. Back and forth we go. Ashley Miller sets things up for West and Ashley Dace finishes off the play with a kill. Lincoln Way West goes up 8-7. A couple of points later while Bonzi is looking to pull away. Olivia O'Hara sets up Caitlin Reinhardt whose hit goes off of two West players putting Dub V up 14-11. Lincoln Way West continues to battle back. This time Ashley Miller plays Ellie Decker who finds the open court for the point. West trails 19-17. Two points later, both squads go back and forth in this rally. It comes to an end when Naisha Kana drops the ball just over the net. 21-19 Dub V. West now trailing 21-20 as Laney Toodle and Ashley Miller both go down for the one-handed digs to keep the play alive. Dub V returns the ball just for Caroline Smith to put the play to bed. Just like that, we are tied at 21. 24 to 23 now in favor of Lincoln Way West as Caitlin Reinhardt's serve goes out of bounds. West takes set one, 25 to 23. Lincoln Way West already with an early lead in the second set as Caroline Smith goes up for another kill. West up seven to two early in this one. However, Dub V fights back, scoring six unanswered points thanks to an ace from Caitlin Reinhardt who ties the game at 12. West once again starting to pull away as Caroline Smith goes up for the block on Ava Bella Fiore, putting Lincoln Way West up 20 to 15. Dub V continues to fight back. Maddie Huang sets up Naomi Dowd who finds the back left corner for the kill. Green and gold trails 21 to 19. Wabonzi doesn't slow down in the late stages of the second set. Ava Bella Fiore's hit looks to be a miss hit, but it doesn't matter as it stays fair. Dub V wins set 2, 25-23. Serving to start the third set is Sam Misserandina who picks up an early ace for Wabonzi. Much like the first two sets, there's not much to separate the teams as Ashley Miller picks up an ace of her own, tying the game at 10. Serving again for Wabonzi is Sam Misserandina who tallies another ace. Dub V retakes the lead 13-12. Both teams continue to trade points. This time it's Ashley Miller going up for the block on Naomi Dowd putting West up 18-17. Match point now for Lincoln Way West. Lily Goyer goes up for the finishing blow, but blocking the kill at the net is Naisha Kana who keeps Wabonzi's hopes alive. West now up 24 to 23 as Naisha Kana's serve hits the net. After three 25 to 23 sets, Lincoln Way West barely takes down Wabonzi Valley. West advances to the regional final against Romeoville. Well, our program has been in a slump for the past four years, so I think it was really cool that we could be competitive with every single team that we played this season. It really just goes to show our grit and urgency to like bring this program back to what it was back in 2019. So this has been like the winningest season we've had in over five years. So. I thought that was really cool to see. These past few seasons, I've seen a lot of growth in all of my teammates. I mean, a lot of us play at the same club and we played on the same club teams. So it's kind of cool to see our bonds like come together. I mean, last year, none of us had played together before. It was like a brand new team. And I think a lot of us were together this year and it really showed how much we can improve as a group. 